Thank you, Amy. Good morning. Who here supports public schools? Who here supports kids? Who here supports teachers? Who here knows that when we invest in public schools, communities thrive? Yes. Unfortunately, Betsy DeVos does not agree. So, so I'm Ben Wickler, I'm the chair of the Democratic Party of Wisconsin. I am a proud product of Wisconsin Public Schools. <laughs> when I was in high school, my school district wasn't getting the funding it needed. And a group of students from around the state, including in Milwaukee and across Wisconsin and I, joined together and went to our state legislature and started a group called Students United for Defense of Schools that lobbied for public education funding. And our state legislators listened and they increased funding for special education programs and we felt like democracy was working. Then time passed and Betsy DeVos and her family helped fund Scott Walker and the Republicans. Her family gave $342,000 directly to Scott Walker's election campaign. Whoa! They gave, she ran an organization that gave $5 million to Wisconsin Republicans to attack the public schools. And she was rewarded for all those attacks by Trump nominating her to be our Secretary of Education. Now we remember when she was nominated, people were aghast. Who here made a phone call or sent a message or tried to stop Betsy DeVos? Thank you. If you were part of that fight against her, say, I was part of it. I was part of it. We were all part of it. The fight against her was so intense that Republicans couldn't find the votes in the Senate and they had to turn to Mike Pence to cast the tie-breaking vote, the first time a cabinet secretary has ever been confirmed by the vice presidential vote doing the tie-breaking vote. What do we have to say to Mike Pence? Woo! So he cast his vote. Betsy DeVos came in, and immediately she proved all her worst critics right. What has Betsy DeVos done? She proposed billions upon billions in cuts to public education programs and $50 billion for vouchers from public taxpayer funds. Oh. She's rolled back protections for transgender students. She's rolled back protections for victims of sexual assault. She's repealed the borrower defense rule for people defrauded by for-profit for colleges. She has proposed funding guns for teachers in their classrooms with taxpayer dollars. Your outcry forced her to back down from that one. 99 people, there are so many teachers and public servants who've received loans and applied for forgiveness under the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program. Guess how many out of a out of 100%, guess how many actually get it? 0.5%. 99.5% are not getting loan not forgiveness right. under Betsy DeVos. She even proposed eliminating all funding for the Special Olympics. Oh. I, <laughs> the other thing that we got to keep in mind is Betsy DeVos's agenda is just one part of the Trump administration's assault on public education. You can look at their tax scam bill, a giveaway to the wealthiest Americans, but buried in there, they eliminated the deduction that allowed public fu uh, taxpayer funds that go to public schools. Those are now additionally taxed by the federal government, making it harder to fund public schools, but they gave a tax giveaway to allow people to pay for private schools with their tax dollars. Yes. If you have a college savings account, a 529 account, now the federal government subsidizes that to go to pri private school tuition. So they're taking money from public schools to give money to private schools. Yes. And that is the Trump agenda. It is an attack on public education. And are we gonna fight back? Yes! Are we gonna fight to stop the war on public education? Yes! Are we gonna tell Betsy DeVos, no? Yes! yes. <laughs> That's slightly confusing. <laughs> we are gonna fight back. And the thing is, we know that the public is with us. The public is with us every step of the way. Americans, Wisconsinites, love public schools. Yeah. We love our kids. We love our teachers. And we want our government to support us instead of taking funds and support away from our public education. The Democratic Party is with you. Thank you, MPEA. Thank you, teachers. Thank you, all people who support students. We are going to join together. We are going to fight. And are we ever going to give up? 
No! And are we going to keep fighting through Election Day 2020? Yes! And are we going to send Betsy DeVos back home to her giant mansion in Michigan? Yes! Thank you! Yes!